Welcome to Dishwasher Training. Dishwasher Setup Before turning on this machine, make sure the door to the machine is shut. Turn on the main dishwasher button, the power switch. Next, turn on the second dishwasher button, the motor switch. Make sure the machine is filled up with water. You can use the hose to hurry up the process. This might take longer than five minutes. Make sure the water is at the right temperature. Check the thermometer on the machine. It is to the right of the power and motor buttons. The wash should be at least 160 degrees Fahrenheit and the rinse should be at least 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure there is white soap in the dishwasher soap container. This is located to the left side of the machine. Close up the middle sink by pulling the lever under the sink to the left. Make sure there is purple soap in the sink soap container. This is on the left side of the sink area, above the left sink. Fill up the middle sink with hot water and the purple soap. Make sure there is a lot of soap and that the water is hot, but not burning your skin. Close up the right sink by pulling the lever under the sink to the left. Fill up the right sink with sanitizer water. This dispenses from the tube attached to the dispenser above the right sink. Push in the knob to dispense the sanitizer water. Make sure there is red sanitizer liquid in the plastic jug underneath the right sink and that it is connected to the tube. Wear latex gloves and the plastic white apron is found above the sink. You can change your gloves when needed. Dishwasher during your shift. Organize the dishes to make washing them faster. An example is putting all the utensils together or stacking the pan. There are two workers. Divide the work between the two of you like an assembly line. Rinse off the dishes in the left sink. Make sure the food catcher is there. You can use the spray hose on the left of the dishwasher to remove food. You can also use the trash can. If the food is caked on the dish, soak it in the green-blue liquid that comes out to the left of the spray hose. Do not let your hands touch this often because it is very strong. Wash off all food, stains, and grease in the middle of the sink with the green scotch rubbers found above the sink. Put the clean dishes in the right sink to sanitize for at least 30 seconds. Put the dishes in the square plastic containers that go through the dishwasher and push them into the dishwasher. The dishwasher will lead them on a track through to the other side. Do not put knives through the machine. This dulls them. Please sanitize them only. Put the dishes away to the places that they belong. Be careful. Some of them will be hot. Wait for them to cool down before you put them away. When the square plastic containers hit the lever that is on the end of the dish return landing, the machine will stop. To turn the machine back on, remove the construction that is pushing on the lever. Make sure the motor button is on and not on the middle of the on and off. Wash the two long white cutting boards from the grill and the deli. The workers will put them up next to the ice machine. Put these through the dishwasher. 
If you run out of dishes to wash, go around the store and find more to wash. Ask workers if they are done using dishes. Dishes come in waves at different times during the day. If you are not the closing shift, make sure that the area is still clean for those that come in later in the day. We are a team. Do not clean the employee plates. They will clean them themselves. Tell the supervisor before you run out of any products. If you don't know where something goes, ask a supervisor. Be careful where you step. The floor gets very wet and slippery. Be aware of your surroundings and the people that are walking through the kitchen or to the deli. Be careful when you touch the dishes because they still might be hot from cooking or baking food. If you need help or if you are behind, ask the supervisor to help you. If you have run out of a product and it is the end of the shift, refill it so the shift the next day will be prepared. If your shift is not over but you are done early, you can ask the supervisor how else you can help. Do not leave without talking to your supervisor. Dish placement. Place the cutting boards and eating trays here. Smaller assorted metal and plastic containers go here, above the dishwasher return landing. Pots, pans, and whisks hang above the counter in the middle of the kitchen. This is one of the of shelves for dishes. The top shelf is for larger assorted metal and plastic containers. The middle shelf is for cookie sheets, 2 inch pans, and 3 inch pans. The bottom shelf is for metal lids and pizza pans. This is one of the set of shelves for dishes. The top shelf is for pot containers. The next two shelves down are for utensils. Pay attention to where things belong. Do not mix things together. If you do not know where it belongs, ask your supervisor. The bottom shelf is for plastic containers and plastic lids. The grilled dishes go back to where they were being used. The fry baskets go back to the fryer. The grill grease catcher goes back underneath the grill on the front left side. The grill and stir fry utensils go in the bottom left drawer underneath the grill. The pancake rings go in the top right drawer underneath the grill. The stir fry woks go back on top of the stir fry stoves. Dishwasher closing. When all of the dishes are done, put the red mats that workers have put in the dishwashing area on the square plastic containers and push them through the dishwasher also. There are 5 to 9 mats. Only do this after all the dishes are done. Put the mats on the right dish landing. The custodians will put them where they belong. Let out the water in the sink by pulling the lever back down to the right. Clean the sinks and landings on the dishwashing machine side. You can use the soap, scrubber, and hose. Make sure there is no food in the bottom of the sink. Clean out the food catcher and make sure it is clean. Clean out the sink under the spray hose. Take out the blue plastic and the food catcher below it. Clean those also and replace them. Clean out the metal rectangle food catcher below the spray hose sink and wash it down. Turn off the dishwasher machine with both buttons. 
Open the dishwasher machine door. Be careful, steam might come out. Pull the lever on the inside up. This lets out the water in the machine. After the water is let out, take out the food catcher from inside the machine and rinse it off, making sure there is no more food inside or out. Put the food catcher back inside the machine carefully. Take the hose and wash out the inside and outside of the machine. Make sure there are no dishes that have fallen inside the machine. Make sure the walls are clean and do not have food on them. Sweep the floor, mop the floor, or wash it with soap and water with a broom. You can use the hose. Put away what you use. You can find these in the custodian closet. This clean the two drains, the one next to the left sink and the one under the dishwasher machine. Take out the trash and replace the trash bag. Wipe down the door to the deli. Ask your supervisor to check your area. Thank you for watching this video.